All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I do make a Lakers video just about every day along with other various NBA teams, just the NBA in general. So if you like that kind of content, hit that sub button, check out a few of my videos. I think you'll really enjoy them. Today, we're going to talk about Andre Drummond because he was bought out about a half hour ago, maybe an hour ago. It's about two o'clock here in Chicago. So I made a video earlier today about Andre Drummond and an Andre Drummond update. Well, this is almost like an update to the update. So <laughs> Andre Drummond, baby, he's in L.A. right now working out. There is a report coming out that first off, the Brooklyn Nets are out. Brooklyn Nets are not. He does not want to go to the Brooklyn Nets. So there is a report rumbling right now that Andre Drummond intends to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers shortly. I don't know when shortly would be. I don't know if that's in a couple of hours or if it's in a couple of days. My guess would be it happens definitely in the next seven days. If this, is, if this report is true and Andre Drummond actually wants to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers and plans on signing with the Los Angeles Lakers, I would have to imagine this happens relatively soon. Um, seven days is kind of a long time, so I would maybe even in a couple, but Andre Drummond, you're getting about 18 points per game, about 14 rebounds per game, like a steal and a half per game and a block per game. Statistically, this dude is an absolute menace. He's very good and he just needs to be on the right culture in my opinion, which is LA. LA is perfect for him. So if this report's true, which I really think, you know, you guys know where I think Drummond's signing. I'm I think 99.9% .9 sure, even before this report that Drummond was going to sign with the Lakers. I thought maybe there was a smidge of a chance that he would go to the Nets, but with Nicholas Claxton really just putting out and JaVale McGee got traded, like Blake Griffin addition, the Nets team's pretty solid. I still think that they should make a move, uh, but Andre Drummond doesn't want to go to Brooklyn, so that's not our problem. There's about five teams that he reportedly was interested in. It was like the Lakers, the Clippers, the Celtics, the Knicks, and I think the Hornets were one of them. Uh, who were they were all sleepers. I mean, I could see like in fantasy world, Andre Drummond going to a team that didn't that wasn't the Lakers or that wasn't the Nets. But even if he didn't go to the Lakers, I would have guessed the Nets just because, I mean, I would have to imagine after playing his entire career in Detroit and then the last few in Cleveland, I would have to imagine this dude wants one thing, and that's to win a ring. On Brooklyn, he's not going to get stats. Lakers, he's not really going to get stats either because they don't really need him to get stats. Like He's not going to be putting up these 18 and 14 games. He's not going to be going 20 and 20 every week or so. That's not what they need him to do. They just need him to play good defense, buy into the system, and just provide the value that he provides. Looking back at the Lakers deadline, it was a little depressing, a little surprising. The Lakers were not willing to give up THT for Lowry. We'll see in a couple of years if this trade was going to be worth it or not. Honestly, man, I don't know. You guys know, if you guys watch my Lakers videos, you know my thoughts on THT. I think he is a star, or I think he will be a star. Sorry, I, I really do. I still, if they get Drummond, I don't think that they needed to make that trade necessarily for uh, Kyle Lowry. But at the same time, man... Uh, I think they wanted like KCP and maybe even Trez and THT and the Lakers were just not willing to budge on THT. On this season, he's averaging eight points per game, doing a little bit better with just like statistically with AD and LeBron James out in the last two weeks has been averaging like 11 points and a little under four rebounds and a little under four rebounds. Or assists. I don't know if I just said the same word twice. This is a good time for THC to really put out. I am actually just really surprised they didn't go for Lowry, though. Or, I mean, Beal probably was not easy to get one bit. But I'm, I'm just surprised that I'm almost shocked that they did not get another guard. I think that the guard position is something that the Lakers really need. I like Schroeder. I love Schroeder. 
But I just think that they need more. They needed that Rondo. You need that guy. Like, you need that dog. And Kyle Lowry is an absolute dog. Like, this dude can play defense. He can knock down a three. We all know him. He's one of the most... Kyle Lowry is probably one of the most underrated stars just in general ever. But definitely in the last couple of years, the last decade, this dude is so underrated. I mean, he even has got a ring now. Like, he's just an absolute dog there's no tame in that boy so shocked they didn't get Lowry if they get Drummond it will be better but I get a lot of comments so you guys know I, I still think the Lakers are gonna win it all I still think somehow they find a way to win it all even though I guess when you look at the rosters together I mean we're injured and the Nets are doing great things over there in Brooklyn and KD's not even back yet so I can see the concern I really can. If they don't get Drummond, they don't get Lowry, or they didn't get Lowry, they didn't make any trades, then honestly, I could I definitely see where you guys are coming from, especially if LeBron James isn't healthy. If Anthony Davis isn't healthy, if one of those two guys isn't healthy or not fully healthy, especially if it's LeBron James, then there's time for panic or concern or worry. Andre Drummond to the Lakers completely changes that. He really does. Like, he just completely changes that. You've got Dennis Schroeder, KCP, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Andre Drummond all out on the court at the same time. And then off the bench, you've got Trez, you've got Caruso, you've got Morris. Whatever lineups the Lakers decide to run with, when you get Drummond, you just have, there's so many more options. There's just a boatload more of options. And I think this dude is going to come in, make an immediate impact. And I really do. I, I do think he is going to sign with, I don't know. Honestly, like I don't know about this report. I, I never really tr fully trust reports because like a couple of weeks ago, um, Silas said that DeMarcus Cousins was, was here to stay and, you know, they want him to be a part of the future to win. And then like two days later, he got waived. So I don't really trust anything. I don't trust any, what anybody says or any reports that come out, even when Woj tweets a trade, it's like, well, wait, hold on, we gotta look into this, make sure. The Lakers, they've lost four straight games. They need a big man badly, they need a guard. I definitely, definitely think that they go, they get Avery Bradley at the very least. They go, they get Andre Drummond probably in the next couple of days. So that's gonna shake the league, man. I cannot wait, because that is definitely gonna shake the league. Brooklyn Nets, they are not ready. The league is not ready for Andre Drummond on the Los Angeles Lakers, man. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, it really helps me out. And um, let me know your thoughts on Andre Drummond coming to the Lakers.